What's good, y'all? Shout out to notification game for hitting the like button. And if video even starts yet, y'all don't miss ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Let's get straight into this video, y'all. Shout out to y'all. Y'all the ghosts. If you haven't already, please make sure you add me on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. All the links are in the description. All the links are in the about page. Y'all go ahead and click. Hey, wait, I had somebody send this to me on Instagram. They saw the uh the other video that I was doing. If I remember, I put the eye at the top of the other transgender woman that told the story in uh, I think it was We My We in Miami podcast, I think it was. Um again, if I remember, I put the eye at the top, I put the link in the description. But uh they saw the video I did with a transgender woman who told a story about basically not telling a dude that you know she was transgender, he pulled a gun on her, blah 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 blah. Uh if y'all want to go back and watch that, y'all can. And so they sent me this video too. So let, let's get into it, y'all. Day of testimony in the trial of a man accused of killing a transgender woman in Highland Park. But the proceedings ended abruptly when the defendant fell asleep. CBS News Detroit's Andres Gutierrez joins us from 30th District Court with what exactly happened in that courtroom. Well, before this morning's proceedings got underway, the defendant, Carlos Scotland, was talking to his attorney, mouthing something to someone in the gallery. But once the first witness took the stand, well, he couldn't stay awake. Mrs. Scotland, are you okay? Many in the courtroom saw this as pure disrespect. Is your mind still awake? Carlos Scotland dozing off as the lead investigator recounted the inconsistencies during his interrogation of the 18-year-old charged with the June 2023 murder of Asia Davis at the Woodward Inn. Did the defendants ever suggest that there was some type of altercation in the room? Yes. And when you look at that picture, sir, is there anything that would suggest there was a struggle or altercation in that room? Not at all. MSP Detective James Plummer says Scotland eventually admitted to shooting Davis. And could you tell us, what did he say as it relates to that, sir? That he, after the victim swung at him, that he shot the victim in the, the face or neck area. Okay. And are you familiar with the medical examiner's report in this case, sir? Yes. Okay. And was the victim a shot in the face or the neck, sir? No. In fact, where was she actually shot? In the back of the head. Literally in the back of the head at close range, correct? Yes. Did he ever correct that part of it? No. Scotland initially claimed it was all done in self-defense after she allegedly attacked him with a knife. He initially said that the knife, that he had took the knife and discarded it in a field. Um, he then recanted that and, and said that the victim swung at him with a closed right fist while possessing a phone uh, in the victim's left hand. And Real, real quick, y'all. It's 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 so sad because nobody deserves to take anybody's life. Point blank, full stop, period, whatever y'all want to say. Nobody. We don't know the full details of what happened. We probably will never know the full details of what the hell happened. What I can say, or what I should say, <laughs> excuse me. What I can say is, first of all, R.I.P. Aisha, they, they, Aisha, Aisha, uh, Ashina, Davis, number one. Because at the end of the day, that was somebody's child. That was somebody's family member. That was somebody's loved one. That was somebody's, that was somebody's somebody. Like I said in the other We in Miami video, regarding the transgender woman that had a gun pulled out on her and was telling the story and was laughing about it. What did I say, if y'all remember, um, if y'all watched it, what did I say? I said, I, did, I didn't see or hear anything funny. I said, that dude could have pulled the trigger and she would have been on the damn news. Just like uh, Asia, 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 Asia Davis. So, you guys are in a room together. I can only imagine what the hell happened there. He decides to get a gun, close range, back of her head, and then pulls the trigger. Talking about, oh, it was a fight that ensued. It was close fist punching, a knife being brought into all this, that, a third. All those are things that you better add in in these in stories like this 
in order for a possibility of you getting off or getting the least amount of time. That's all this is. Did any of that stuff happen? The only person that knows is him and her. And one of them is dead. So unfortunately, the other person cannot tell their side of the damn story. So the only thing that they, that he can do is tell his side of the story, quote unquote, and try to make it seem like he was a victim or whatever the case may be. Y'all going to learn. I said in my other video, um, God forbid I'm ever in a situation like this. God, you know, to give me the strength to mentally detach myself and just and just separate and pull away without getting into any sort of an altercation. Um, there's a lot of dudes that's running around here getting tricked and deceived when it comes to what their preference is. And a lot of other people don't care about what heterosexual men preference is. They're going to present themselves as such and expecting the dude to damn roll with it. And a lot of guys are not with that. A lot of these guys are um, fully against it. A lot of these guys are thinking, oh, the best thing to get out of this situation is to use a goddamn gun. People crazy. I've seen people get killed for less. I don't know why y'all want to play with people's feelings, emotions, especially when it comes to, 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 to these men's sexuality. Assuming that's not what he was into. Now, if it's a situation that he was into that, you know, and then whatever happened, and that's two completely different stories. But let's let us keep going. Let me, let me hear him finish this, man, because I, I got something else I want to say. Did he ever say where the knife, the, the knife was that he claims it was there? He, he provided great detail initially, uh, looking at a map as to where he discarded this knife um, before saying that there was no knife. And just as the detective was getting into details about how Scotland and Davis ended up meeting that fateful night, Scotland's episode began. Eventually, his attorney told the judge another inmate allegedly slipped Scotland three pills before coming to court, causing the drowsiness and forcing the judge to adjourn for the day. The defense always prolongs the thing. I don't know why they think it's in their best interest to prolong it or make it even longer when inevitably he was already found. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? Somebody slipped them pills? What did he say? allegedly slipped Scotland three pills before coming to court, causing the drowsiness. His attorney told the judge another inmate allegedly slipped Scotland three pills before coming to court, causing the drowsiness. What? forcing the judge to adjourn for the day. The defense always prolongs the thing. I don't know why they think it's in their best interest to prolong it or make it even longer when inevitably he was already found competent. So it's only a matter of time, but I'm very confident that Asia Davis is going to receive the justice that she needs. And so testimony picks right back up here on Thursday afternoon at 1.30. Reporting in Highland Park, Andres Gutierrez, CBS News, Detroit. So there was no knife. There was no knife. Sounds to me, sir, like uh, I'm, I'm not going to go there. I would say that, uh, yeah, bro, your, your life is over. I believe uh, does Michigan have the death penalty? I think they do. I'm not too sure. No, not 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 a hundred percent sure. I, you know, it 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 really it really kills me how these people just throw their life away, man. It really kills me. Honestly, I just I just don't understand. If y'all will put this much energy, you know, I'm not, I'm not even gonna say that. I'm not. I'm not even gonna say that. R.I.P. Uh, Asia Davis, what happened to her, um, whether you support that or you don't support it, what happened was wrong. Nobody has the right to take somebody's life, point blank, period. I don't care what you are, who you are, what you're doing, or how you're doing it, or you want to switch to this and switch to that. Neither here nor there. Nobody has the right to delete someone. Again, we will never know what the truth is of what, what really happened. The only person that knows is him 
and the uh, and Asia Davis. R.I.P. Uh, I want you to comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't, hit that subscribe button, man. Also, too, hit that bell symbol size and type in the upload. The notifications will pop up and alert you. Also, too, make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit that share. I look forward to reading all your comments, if any. So, until next time, please, y'all be safe, America.